Hello. Now I'm going to show you how to set up custom packaging for use inside Shipping Easy. As always, please make sure annotations are turned on in YouTube using the gear icon in the bottom right. So basically, if you are using any boxes that are not flat rate or regional rate straight from the post office, you'll need to add them manually to the application so that they are selectable when buying a label. To do this, we start by clicking Settings on the blue bar up at the top. Then we select Package Setup in the top right here under Shipment Settings. We click Add New. Then we give the box a name and some dimensions. Make sure the length is the highest of the three numbers that you enter here. Uh, the order of the height and width don't really matter, however. Now let's talk about the Add To and the Override Weight. If you're weighing all your packages on a scale to get their weight when they're all set up and in their packaging, you will leave these two weight fields blank because they will throw off the weights you get from your scale. However, even if you are weighing everything, you might still find a use for the override weight. Basically, the override weight is what the package will weigh whenever this box is selected. It overrides all other weights and sets it to whatever this weight is. An easy example of when to use override weight is say I sell coffee and I sell a lot of one pound bags of coffee. I ship my single quantity one pound coffee bags in the same type of box and I don't ship anything else in that box. I know the bag of coffee weighs a pound and I know the box I send it in weighs four ounces. So I set the weight for this box as one pound four ounces. Now whenever I select my one pound coffee box I don't need to worry about entering the weight at all because the override weight is accurate. That's one way to reduce the manual work of weighing packages, but if you want to completely eliminate it, you're going to use the add to weight. So we'll delete my override weight because you never want to have an add to and an override weight. It's definitely going to be one or the other, but in order to make full use of an add to weight, you first need to set up the weights for your individual products on your online store. We'll bring those weights over to Shipping Easy when we bring the order over. Then the add to weight gets added to the weight of the product. Uh, we know my box is four ounces, and I've branched out, and I'm shipping more than just the one pound coffee boxes in here. So we'll set up the product weights accurately, and then we'll set up the add to weight as four ounces. The add to weight gets added to the weight of the products we already have, and you have an accurate weight for the package, eliminating the need to weigh each package on a scale. Finally, if you need to add a note about the packaging, say to other people that are shipping from the same account, do that here in the notes section. So just set up all your custom boxes on this page. You'll not need to add flat rate or regional rate boxes or standard size envelopes on this page as they're all selectable by default. Anyway, just click the link on your screen right now to move on to the next step.